Welcome to the Research Desk. We specialize in digital research and I can give you three tricks how to get into contact with someone easily. The first trick I'll give you is to use Google wisely. Google, as a search engine, indexes websites. So you have to guess what exactly is going to be on that website. Let's say, for example, you're looking for a phone number. And a phone number might be in a phone book. Then you have to guess exactly how it's been spelled in the phone book. Let me give you an example. Let's say we're looking for colleague journalist Herman van der Zand. If I Google his name, I get a lot of results, but none of which will show me his phone number. So I have to guess how his name will be spelled in a phone book. It's not going to be Herman, but it might be H van der Zand. So if I Google H van der Zand, I see a lot of results again. It's still not here. So another guess is that it's not spelled H, but it's spelled HVD instead of van der Zand. Now I get a few results. One of which is this person called HVD Zand and he lives to Utrecht and I get a phone number. It is important to note that this person might not be Herman, it might be somebody else, but at least now I have a phone number which I can call to verify. The second trick I'll give you is go to Facebook. Now of course you can use Facebook to send a message to someone, but there's more tricks that you can use. Let me give you an example. I'll go to Facebook and I'm looking for a specific person called Brammetje de Beer. Now this Facebook profile is pretty empty. Not much has been posted, nothing at all actually. But I can still figure out what the email is that the person has used for this account. Therefore I go to the URL. Here it says facebook.com slash brammetje dot de beer. I'm going to copy this information and then go to a different browser. In this browser, I'll go to Facebook, I'm going to click on forgotten account. This is meant for people who forgot the information of their account. I'm going to click on it and I'm not going to use my own information here, but I'm going to use Brammetje de Beers. Facebook is asking me to provide my email address or phone number. What I can also add is exactly the information that we just found in the URL. Brammetje dot de Beer. And then I'll search. Now Facebook is asking me to send a code to the email address that I've used to create the account at Facebook. And for privacy purposes, it will give me only a small amount of that email address. So it says here, B, a lot of asterisks, R, at gmail.com. Now, although this is redacted for privacy purposes, I know that each asterisk stands for one letter. So I know the person's name is Brammetje de Beer. And if I fill in those exact letters in the spots of these asterisks, then it fits completely. So what I'm reading here, Brammetje de Beer at gmail.com. If it doesn't fit exactly, you might have to add a dot. So in this case, it could be brammetje dot de beer at gmail.com. At this point, I now know his email address. And that's what I wanted to know. The third trick I'll show you involves a browser plugin called Contact Out. And Contact Out will show you what some of these contact details are that he has used for LinkedIn. Let me give you an example. For this, we have to go to Google Chrome. In Google Chrome, we first try and install Contact Out. So you search for Contact Out, you click on the add-on for Chrome. Here it says, find anyone's email, Contact Out. So I'll show you how to use it. First, we have to go to LinkedIn. So let's say we're looking for the editor-in-chief of the series in Europe, Roel van Broekhoven. This is his profile on LinkedIn. I'll go to the icon of Contact Out and click on it. It's going to ask me to log in. We're going to close this window, go back to Rolf van Broekhoven, click on it again, and then here it says his contact details. So none of these three tricks are a guarantee, but I hope it will help you in finding the person you're looking for and making contact.